Oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah. Oh, no, uh, there's a light on. <laughs> oh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to Front Row Geeks. Uh, sorry, we we're running a little bit late today. We got kind of caught up in Kage's story, and by that I mean we have, were having some technical difficulties, so we had to start a yeah. bit late. Uh, as always, uh, I am Michael, your host for this Lunar event. Joining me, we have, of course, Asher. Duh. And Kage. Uh. I appreciate the reaction noises, everyone. All right. And so we are jumping back in into the sewers of thievery and such. Uh, last time we logged out, we logged out there, but we were a little bit damaged and we were not having a great day. And I burnt some, star some starlights and I didn't like that. So I did go back in, as I said I would. And I found the exit, went back up, healed, uh, and we are a tiny bit stronger. Uh, also, with some better gear, because it turned out that the stores had better gear available for us. Surprise, and, surprise. And, and we, we could afford waste. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we also unwasted those starlights. And yeah, picked up a yeah. couple uh, Angel's Tears. Yes, so otherwise, this is essentially where we were. Yep, we are a lot more, uh, we are more better prepared for this. Hopefully. Hopefully so. And not get our butts whooped. By the uh, sewer assassin death cult. All right, so where we were. That mask! It's the one that. Oh, this is voice well, acted. Well, gee, yeah, dude. Have you taken to associating with trash like this on a regular basis? I'm disappointed in you. After all, you are my best and brightest student. Now, you will pay the ultimate price! I'm trying to figure out how much that will be. So, mm. I'm uh, noting, noting this, uh, Kage, when you unmute, you have a loud buzzing in your background. Is that better? Yes, infinitely so. I think it was my fan. Could well be. Could well be. Well, it's not good. We got three people kaiokening up here. Yep. That we do. I don't know if these are... No, of course not. Their status effects, of course they won't work. Oh boy. Sleep? Nope, status effects won't work. These are considered yeah, bosses. Yeah. It's like a mini boss, so it's not really a boss boss, but yeah, they won't work. Ferocious wind! I don't want to go too crazy, but at the same time. Yeah, baby, yeah! Yeah, he thinks himself as Austin Powers. That's funny. Yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh. 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 Oh, not the mage. Oh God, why the mage? Mage, no, mage bad. No, mage is good. We just don't want people hitting on the mage. No, that's what I mean. It's like don't aim for the mage. Mage bad. Aim for the tank. Okay, that's not fair. Three of the four went Kaioken, and now two, uh, one of the ones that was is now still doing it. That's not cool. Yeah, it does feel a little bit cheaty. I know this isn't going to kill them, but it's going to at least do hopefully some decent damage. That's what we're hoping for. Oh, they're all weakening as ice. I should clearly do that. I wonder why. I did halfway decent damage. Oh, that's not bad. That be helpful. They're beating up on Gino. Oh, Jesus. I'm glad I planned for some happy hour. I don't think Gene's a tank. Really isn't. Really I isn't. I don't think that would be an appropriate approximation. Come on, hit. Oh, not run far. Oh. 
Admittedly, Ron Farr is weirdly tanky, but he's still not he's a, tanky. He's like an old school like D and D cleric that can wear armor and stuff. Yeah, yeah. like he is like beefy beefcakes. If I remember correctly, and this is a weird thing, the original like D and D and like advanced D and D like second edition stuff, cleric was basically if you don't know what class to do. You just basically want to take cleric because they're basically they're the everyman class for some uh, for some weird reason. I mean that is fairly accurate actually. Uh, my first character in second edition was a cleric because it was beefy and healing. Yeah. Ed Millie, don't tell me like yeah, like I don't know what's happening with. Aiden with uh Okay, we got one edition. down. Yay! Heck yeah. And none of them are doing it this time. Oh thank god. Hopefully we can get two down. Because if we can get two down, we can get three down. And then we can get four down and get on to the actual boss fight. <laughs> At least that's the plan. That is the one plan. hopes. But since it this since it looks like Death Cult Matthew is horrible hot garbage. He's probably gonna run and then we'll fight, uh, fight him later. I kinda hope not. Happy hour. I hope not, but... Ice Storm! Uh, girl, no, it's called Freeze Claw. It's not Ice Storm. Yep, two down. Alright. There we go. And we got another one uh, charging his lasers. I think you got this, though. You got this. You got this. That's certainly the hope. Come in, come in. Gypsy magic! Stop beating up on the gypsy, damn it. No one likes you Three beating down. up on the Lucia's. Yay! Yeah, and it was the one that was uh, charging too. That's yes, awesome. Yes, it was. Ice storm. Four down, and We're two good. angel tears. Woohoo! And Lamina's level twenty-seven. All and right. Ice pick is now called Ice arrows. It evolved. Yay! Her spells do. Ooh. Looks like it's a, uh, uh -oh. everybody attack. We don't have a dead man's party. Though. I'm That's proud to see that you still remember all that I taught you. But now you must face me. And we both know that I will use the Shadow Dragon Fist to rip out your beating heart. Kalima! <laughs> <laughs> Shut Another up! One. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I knocked his, his mask off. I wonder ah, who it is. My mask! <clears throat> oh, Master, me... why do you run from your student? Come back and fight! <laughs> if you really believe you have a chance against me, come to the town of Horum. The Tournament of Death will be the most suitable forum for your humiliating defeat, child. Oh boy. Your death will ah. demonstrate the strength of the Shadow Dragon Fist to the world! I'm looking forward to your reunion, Gene. <laughs> One wonders why he's trying to get the, the this whole, like, sewer, like, death cult ninja bullshit uh. to the world. Why? The awkward part is, I, don't, I think they escaped with the kids. That's the really fucked up part. I don't think they did, because I thought the kids were off to the right of the screen right now. Yeah, but as we were fighting, uh, they moved in onto the boat, I thought. Yeah. This maybe. mask. Oh, Time to I... crush it with your foot. If we no, take you're... this mask to Master Lun and show it to him, maybe we can earn his trust. And once he trusts us, I'm sure he'll be willing to help us. You know, there was something strange about the masked man. Was it his voice? Anyway, let's go to Sea Lung. We don't have time to waste. Oh, the kids are right there. Oh, thank God. That's what I mean. Is that like I I saw them like a like the blonde haired that's out in front. 
as it was moving over, I'm like, are you sure the kids are still there? Because I didn't see them on the boat. And normally they try and do that. True. Are all of you okay? Good. We're going to take you back to Taven's Peak with us. Thanks, but we have to get back to Taven's Peak before our leader gets worried. See you later. Wait up! Wait, whoa. Ruby, what happened? <clears throat> Ruby, no! Wait up! We want to see your leader, too! Shoot, they're gone! Kids today have no attention span. Didn't they hear you say we were going to the Taven's Peak? I hope they'll be okay, Hero. The way they went isn't the, uh, isn't the way we came in. Come on, let's go! Yeah, let's follow them. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great plan, actually. Also, I want to see this mask. Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, there it is. Uh, just and... Cult Leader's Disguise. Cult Leader's Disguise is special, which means it's not equipable. God damn it. Well, of course it's not equipable. Did you want one of us to become the Cult Leader? That's not how this works. Oh, yeah, I should also save. I may have won relatively handily, but it was still a fairly challenging battle. It was still pretty rough, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the sound of a dungeon, and it looks like we're inside Master Lund's place. That's no good. No, that makes sense, because remember, there was a... Yeah, see, this is in the basement of the yeah. mansion. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Oh, I man. Am I am in the deepest of Pumires. Ew. That wall just got smashed down, and a bunch of kids came swarming out of there. Where in the world did they come from? All right, let's talk to this dude. Where is he? We've been training very hard in preparation for our assault on the bandits of Taven's Peak. What do you mean they're not bandits? What do you mean they're a bunch of kids? Master Lun is in the holy city of Pentagulia right now, but he should be returning soon. I wonder if he'll, he'll react when we hear this news. Uh, yeah, I got some bad news for you, Broseph. The true holy fist, Lord Lun has returned to the holy city, Pentagulia. He's doing important work for the Chosen. Hmm. Ha, ha. I joined this dojo so I could be as powerful and strong as Master Lund. Teams want to be him, and chicks want to do him. He's the ultimate role model. Ha, ha. I don't know anything about fighting, but I know I'll pick up on it really fast. Ha, ha. Oh, jeez. I had a Whatever, feeling right dude. off the bat that was going to be the right voice for him. Oh, what's this guy yeah. talking about? All of us in the dojo are students of Master Lun, but he is usually much too busy to teach. So he chooses his best and most trusted students to teach the Blue Dragon Fist on his behalf. Hmm. Blue Dragon Fist. I was honored when I was chosen to teach. I wasn't so pleased when I found out I wouldn't get paid. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. See, you don't understand. There's this thing from our world called your paid in exposure. Uh, <laughs> why would you bring that in? All right, so back to Taven's Peak. We can't talk yes, to him. Because he's not here. Because he just rode off on a poo boat. I mean, what? <laughs> Oh, what are you talking about? No, that wasn't him. That was the assassin sewer death cult leader. As I keep rearranging the words. Yes, that's, that's okay. Weird. You don't have the words don't have to be in a single order. I suppose you guys want to ride in the gondola. You realize this isn't an amusement park, don't you? We're coming back, ass ass. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, and uh, yes. Well then, yes. follow me. This thing is oh, so like rickety looking. I'm just like, uh, we're gonna die in this one these days. One of these days. All I this can think is of is how they get up and down. Is that it's the small kid with a hand crank. Oof. <laughs> and we're talking like somebody who's like oh. seven, and we have like 
several, at least one full-sized adult. I'm very impressed. You rescued all the kidnapped dragon kids. The truth is that I didn't think anyone could save them. It was simple. Ooh. My hero is a great leader and a master of strategy. Strategies like falling down in his face in the poo water and um, reloading and going and fighting a bunch more. <laughs> My hero? Hm. You're at least a hundred years too young to know what love is. Oh, wow. What are you Ooh. snapping at me for about? My feelings for Hero have nothing to do with you. And don't you think that your feelings are most inappropriate for a red dragon? Of all the nerve. Listen here, Null, because I'm going to call you some very nasty th- Hey, you called me a red dragon, but I never told you I was one. So how did you know? I, uh... Because he used to be a flying white cat. It was a lucky guess, that's all. A <laughs> lucky guess, that's all. Why don't you all come inside? I have something to tell you. It's that Why I'm in love? love with Hero, and this time it's for real. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, I just, I just noticed something about Null. What's, What's that? that? The, the thing that's got, uh, that he has on his back? Yes. Wasn't that somebody else's? It used to be. Perhaps. Why does he have it now? Well, it's That's a new true. era. Well, I, I I know that the person that it used to own is probably dead. Well, I mean, likely. yeah, from what we've heard. Oh, by the way, have any of you thanked Hero and his friends for what they did? I didn't think so. How many times did I do I have to ask you to display good manners? Thank you all very much for saving us. You must be very strong to beat up the Shadow Dragon Death Cult assassin people. Somewhere in the background. Since when have you ever taught us matters? Weren't you scared of the cult? We want to hear about how you beat them. Please tell us. Calm down, you guys. They can't all talk to you at once. One question at a time, okay? No. Have you seen Lucia? I'm in love with her. And also you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you missed that, didn't you? <laughs> no, I heard it. It's like one of the most difficult. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> hey, I gotta ship him. I'm sorry. It's it's my destiny. I know. Nah, -uh. she was just here, so she can't have gone very far. Why don't you go find her and let these kids calm down for a bit? Are you looking for Lucia? She's around here somewhere. Did you look around upstairs? I sent the dragon kids to guard her, so maybe one of them knows where she went. All right, upstairs it is, apparently. Uh, which is this door? La, 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 oh. La, 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 la. That voice. I'm in love. <laughs> that awkward moment when her theme is just a slightly remixed uh, Luna's theme, so that they are so that they don't get copyright strike from themselves. <laughs> it's true. Oh, that is the wrong way. That's right. That's Null's throne. This is the outside. Yeah. This is the balcony. Slice so playground. Aw, she's singing to a baby. Quick hero, whip out your ancestor's ocarina. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know. Love. Oh, <laughs> hello, hero. You were singing. He's very observant when he's in love. Yeah, when he's in love, he's very observant. Very like twenty twenty vision here. <laughs> yes, these children taught me. I didn't know you had such a good voice, Lucia. I bet Hero surprised too. I should have known. Her voice was as beautiful as she is. Yeah, I was surprised, all right. So, which one of you Rugrats taught her to sing? Mm -hmm. I did. I did. I told her that she can't be a mommy unless she knows how to sing a lullaby. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was like, uh... Ooh. Hey, everyone, who was singing just now? I was Jane. You're good, <laughs> Lucia. And I mean very good. Lucia, you were mega fibbing when you said you didn't know what a song was. <laughs> the little darling seemed uh, to be very attached to you, Lucia. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> I only sang because they asked me to. But I continued to sing because I enjoyed it. Ah! Oh. When I sing, I feel a... Emotion not found. Warmth inside me. <laughs> it's unlike anything I've felt before. Because I've never felt anything before. I was in ice. <laughs> Except for cold rage. <laughs> we should be leaving. I forgot about my mission to find the goddess. What? So there I feel like go. I should definitely talk to Null before I leave. Yeah, I think that might be helpful. Considering, among other things, I think we need past the barricade. Yeah, that thing's still up, isn't it? Yeah. You went to a lot of trouble to rescue the dragon kids from the Shadow Dragon Cult. I swear that I'll find a way to pay you back. That's that's it. That's it. That's that's what you got for me. That's, that's all. That's what you got for me. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. Well, flag. I guess I. Oh wait. Hey, wait up. Oh, here we go. I already figured it out. I heard that you were headed to the holy city of Pentagulia to find the goddess Althena. I want you to have these before you go. It's the least I could do to thank you for all your help. Just don't ask where they came from. You don't want to know the answer. It's my poop. <laughs> oh, the white dragon wings! Yes! Whoa! Yes! Mm, nice. I'm getting a family heirloom. This gizmo has the power to transport you out of any cave and back to the surface. You can use them as many times as you want, and they never run out of magic. Cool, huh? They render your dragon wing, your dragonfly wings, completely irrelevant. Yeah. Now just, you can sell just, them if you had any. Just remember that they might not work if you're somewhere placed with strange magic in the air, like if the place is cursed or plot convenient. <laughs> plot convenient. <laughs> oh, or plot convenient. I almost forgot. Have this butt nugget too. Oh wait. <laughs> I had the dragon kids remove the barricade on the road to Vane. Be careful on your travels, and come back here if you need any more help. Especially for money. Hey, Ruby. Try to remember that you're a red dragon. And try to let go of your obsession with Hero. It's not healthy for either of you. Take care, everyone. No more questions. Bye. Concerning that she will outlive everyone in this group. I think she's speaking. I think he's speaking from experience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because in my head, Canon Nal and uh, Nal had a huge crush on Alex. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Nal needs to keep his nose out of my business before I bite it off. Come on, hero, let's hit the road. All right. Uh, take me down. Hi, do you want to ride to the gon in the gondola? I'll take you straight to the bottom of Taven's feet. Damn right uh, I yes. do. Great, come with me. If it start goes into a free fall, just be careful. Yeah, right. <laughs> Small child and hand crank again. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save that little bit of progress just because that's good. I don't know what I'm gonna find on the other side of the former barricade, so.
One would help Bane, at least. Well, I mean, that would be useful, because otherwise our searches are in vain. Uh, oh, I was, no. All I could think of was to make a joke about we are going to end up find Neo Vein 3. Oof. And not mention what happened in Neo Vein or Neo Vein 2. Come on, everybody. We're almost to Vein. Aren't you excited? Now, I want to warn you that the city might look a bit run down. But that's just until we get the magic guild up and running. And my mother will be very happy that when I show her that I brought four new recruits. Hero, when are we going to tell Lamina that we're not planning on joining the guild? We don't have to tell her yet, Ruby. I don't want to ruin our chance at checking out Vane. What are you... Oh, wrong voice. What are you two whispering about? Magic guild recruits aren't allowed to keep secrets. <laughs> we aren't magic guild recruits. Uh, I'm not sure I'm okay with Vane's new authoritarian regime. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, look! V I, Vane's right where I left it. And there's transmission springs. Oh. Right smash down on the edge of the, uh, the lake. Pretty much. Ah, uh, Lamina. I'm so glad that you've come to visit. What brings you to the spring of transmission? You wish to use it? I'm afraid it's laid dormant for many years. I doubt that it works anymore. Hello, friend. I see that we have something in common. We both collect beautiful bromides. You have a decent oh, collection, oh, oh, oh. but you don't have them all yet. Heck, only one man ever has. His name is Alex of Berg. <laughs> Tell you what, here's a freebie from one collector to another. Come back here and show me your collection every once in a while, okay? Take care now. Mia's Do we bromide. actually come back to him? Mia? As in Mia Alsa? As in Mia Alsa. Okay, I need to see this one just purely for historical purposes. All right. How, why does he have an old bromide like that? Aww. And it's playing the old school theme. Yes. Oh, look at that. Key. Damn right. Key. And <laughs> nope. It does not work. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> Shenanigans. Shenanigans. I think the falling off from the, you know, sky probably broke it. Interrupted the connection. <laughs> it might and then have. the also, other one got turned into a also, well. Also I seem to be missing a tower. Do they rework the map a little bit? I think maybe. Well, I know that I'm going tower past. Crashed. No, no, no! The tower, the goddess tower. Uh, remember that turned into a giant space rocket. Oh, right, 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 right! I forgot about that. Yeah. I completely <laughs> did forget about that. Yes. Okay, well... I like it crashed. <laughs> I, I did forget about that. Yes, I did. All right, well, here we go. Into the Magic City of Vain. Whee! I like how it is a giant, huge staircase. Well, what else are they going to Oh, hey, do? look. Here's the other end of the transmission springs. Yay, I arrived. Why does it look like a piece of shit? Well... Well, it's been only five million years. Uh, guessing at the voice, Lamina! Nope. Oh, Lamina! Thank the goddess you've come back. We're in big trouble. Uh oh. Big trouble. What are you talking about? Did you lose your purse again? No, 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 no. I use a wallet these days. I'm talking about Borgen. He's come to Vane. Uh oh. Borgen? Borgen? The evil tub of lard with more rolls than a bakery? The very oh. same. He said he had important business to discuss with your mother. We tried to stop him and the group of magicians he brought along, but they were too strong. They stormed into the mansion of the guild and haven't come out since. Oh no, mother. Oh, and there's the evil magicians. As servants of the Most High Master, Borgen, we cannot allow anyone to enter vain. Borgen has decreed that no one shall enter or leave until he completes his business here. And what business is he doing? Number one or number two? Get out of my way, you morons. <laughs> oh, what? who are you? 
So you don't know who I am? You really are simpletons. I am Lady Lamina, junior premier of the Magic Guild of Vane. Now, if you'll be so kind as to get the heck out of my way. Oh, junior premier of the Magic Guild? Your title means nothing to us, little girl. What? Borgen has decreed that none shall enter, and we are here to enforce that edict. Step back. Well, time to make him explode. I'm vexed. I'm terribly vexed. I know much more about Vayne than you will ever than you ever will, and I'll find a way to get in. And when I do, I'm gonna make sure that you're very, very sorry. There we go. That's Lamina. <laughs> Okay, guys, listen up. There's a spring of transmission just to the south of here. I know we were there a minute ago, but now it's plot relevant. <laughs> if it still works, we can use it to enter Vane behind the backs of these bozos. If we pull this off, I'll appoint you all to the Magic Guild's advisory board. Wow. Well, Hero, do we cast our lot with Blondie? We don't have a choice, Ruby. <laughs> Limia, tell us what to do. That's it's why I like relevant. you, Hero. You know when to let me take charge of the situation. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, let's head for the spring. Like they say, time is money. Uh, Lamina? Could you, you explain with what that saying has to do with anything that's going on here? Well, the longer it takes to get you enrolled, the longer it takes for me to get my money. Obviously, it's quite obvious. Also, I noticed that the evil magician is kind of a similar mask to the uh, sewer ninja death. Assassin cult. It's strange, so did I. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Alright. But now it's plot relevant, so this should be more important. Uh, oh, I had just had to approach it, not talk to them. Yeah. In the days before Galleon, the magic city of Vane floated high above the earth. The only way to get there was via the spring of transmission. Fortunately, it still works. Unlike what that guy over there says. Right. We're going Maybe to use the... the spring as our own private back door into the Magic City. I, Lamina, junior premier of the Magic Guild, daughter of Myria, call upon the ancient power. Awaken from your deep sleep and open the pathway to Vane. Oh, damn. Yeah, it did wake up. Ha <laughs> ha. Mega magical. It worked. Wait, didn't that thing take us somewhere else first? Yeah, it took us to the Cave of Tria. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Which is exactly where we are. Yeah. <laughs> this uh... is the Cave of Trial. In the old days, it was used as an exam of sorts. It separated those who were worthy to join the guild from those who weren't. Anyway, that's ancient history. We need to get moving. But be careful. I don't know what kind of freaks might be lurking in this creepy cave. Or... <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> One moment. Mm. Mm. Sorry about that. Had a bit of a cough. Uh, right. the, the better question is, what kind of restrictions did the ancestors put on this place? I seem to recall there being restrictions in this place. I don't think... I think those restrictions have passed. I hope so. Severely. Uh, let's go left first. <sighs> Directly into several monsters at once. Yay! That's how you do it. <laughs> a mushroom. Giga wasps. Animal. I feel like I was fighting Giga wasps already. Giga wasps. I, I would mention the current events, just but that would make it dated. Oof. Don't do night that. night. Oh, they come. Oh me. man. So, particles on the butt means sleep attempt, attack. Yep. So Lumina is, is better than that. Fear is upon you. Power charge. Wow. Power increased to the person who is asleep. Good job. Yeah. And it's not still right. That's okay, two more down. There we go. I'll take care of this. 
Oh, another power, power charge. The hero again? Oh, no. That time it was to the gypsy. Oh, that's rather nice of her. Yeah. Jean is actually a pretty good attacker from the looks of her. Yep. Yeah. Yes, she is. Well, considering she's both a ranged attacker as well as having a pretty high attack and double attack. Mm -hmm. that, that combination of effects is pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're not terribly strong. A little irritating, but not terribly strong. That's the same amount of cost either way. Oh, I see what it is. So Ice Arrows, the evolution, is that it does uh, bonus damage. Yes. Instead of being single uh, single target, single target, quote unquote, damage to one target, it does triple attack to one target. Yes. It does just more damage, basically. Triple the damage oh. for double the cost. Triple the damage for double the cost. Triple the damage for double the cost. Triple the damage for double the cost. Head on, apply directly to the floor. <laughs> oh, and here comes Lucio with that napalm shot. Dropping some pain on the last guy. It looks like she's gonna jump on him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez, this place is a freaking maze. I'm starting to wonder if I went the right way the first time. Maybe I should have went right first. Huh. Oh no, that tunnel is filled with poo. I think that's actually a rock slide, but okay. Okay, so that is a dead end because I can't go through the rock slides. Dead end. Dead end. Dead that's end. A dead end. Dead end. <laughs> that's a skeleton with nothing interesting to check on it. So you are going right way. So I was going the right way. Yeah. It's just that the actual the path to the uh, to the right direction was 100% blocked off of everything. Right. All right. And this time I've got a bat knight. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. Right. Oh hey, that's super effective against them. I'm not gonna even bother finding out. <laughs> There you go. Gypsy magic! Nope, she ain't falling for that. She uses uh, gypsy magic to put people to sleep. She doesn't fall to sleep that easy. Right. And sorry, Bat Knight, you did not dodge this. I told you to dodge it, and you didn't. I'm very displeased. I'm not displeased, I'm just disappointed. This is the worst. Oh. And finish it up with a magic barrier that we don't need. But we must hold together. Feel like everyone has a hint of damage. It makes you any feel I was like you don't have to worry about any chests in this area. I there's no chests? No chests. Damn, they never restocked after they never restocked after Alex came through. Nope. Slackers. Okay, that way's all dead end. It looks like it's starting to look like this is all very single path. It might be. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna do all physical attacks and see where that leads us. 
Since I did set up that tactic, I might as well use it, right? Right. Hey, better that using that than using AI. One moment, I'm gonna get some water. Oh! Lucia with the lightning bomb. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a dead end, that's a dead end. So up here is the stairs up, yes. Okay, that's one floor down. Ah, yeah, screw you, you're optional for all I know. Ooh, I found the stairs up. And he said there's no chest, so I'm just gonna go for it. And I got one doing a sleep attack. That should be good. Nice. No sleep attacks. And napalm. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Oh, and that's the way to go. Ooh, and that bad knight's getting ready to do some electrical shice. Ugh, bad knight. Save his. Oh, that could be interesting. Oh, all three flies paralyzed. Nice. Oof. That actually stung a bit. Mega magic flame! And the battle's over.
Okay, we're getting closer to the top. Granted, one downside to this place now is this used to have guards that would actually heal you as you went through. Not so anymore. But also, wasn't this kind of early in the game too? Uh, it still is early in the game. This was right after Moribia, which is kind of where this is falling now. Maybe we'll find a healing spring somewhere. I'm okay with that if we do. Very much so okay with it. Oh wow. There's a thing I didn't think I was gonna see today, a paralyzed mushroom. Ferocious wind! It looks weird, I'll be honest. What looks weird? Uh, the paralyzed mushroom. mushroom. The mushroom that's paralyzed? Or sleeping? It's just on the ground. No, it's paralyzed. Switching. That was fully quadriplegic. Oh wow. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I gave it the Thomas J. My Girl special. Uh. Mm. Oh, nope, that's a dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Well, guess Ooh, what? There are more two that want to sleep me. I don't get as many, but I get I have a chance of getting both sleepers. So uh, it's worth it. Might as well give it a go, yeah. Gypsy magic! Cause if I went a different place I could have gotten four, but then I would have missed one of the sleepers. Oh, I got yeah. all three. Alright. No sleeping on the job for us. <laughs> You know, you should be nice and put them out of their misery. Oh, I'm working on it. Hey. And even Lucia's getting in on the action. Good for her. That was a one-turn finish. I can work with that. Yeah, why not? So I'm not in crazy OP, but I'm also... I'm pretty much on par for where I should be for here. I think so, yes. <laughs> so it should be up here, I believe. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. Bye. <laughs> like, haha. All right, I am on B1, so I'm going to go ahead and do one more healing and save here. Rumfar still got over half his MP. He's good, yeah. Yeah, everyone's in good shape right now. Oh! Oh, this floor I can move freely. That makes this a boss floor. Oh! Or puzzle floor. Hero, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be in the Cave of Trial. So keep your grubby paws off the treasure chest, alright? <laughs> so I'm not able to collect the treasures. Not right now, no. <laughs> But, but treasures. But treasure. Right. And really, it's only one chest, but... Yeah. I mean, there might have been more on the other... On a couple of the other floors. There were a couple that I definitely did not explore as fully as I could have. Lamina, uh, what are you doing and where are you going in such a bizarre outfit? You're such so... a beautiful girl. You have to learn to flaunt your beauty, not disguise. I'd love to continue this chat. Really, I would, but I'm in a mega hurry. Maybe later, okay? 
Oh, no, that's but just some people house. like that sailor outfit. Wait. Uh, sailor outfit look. Oh no, that's sailor. a window. Okay. Hey, bye guys. Don't talk. Don't look at me. Uh, don't okay. look at me. It's okay. Don't look at. Don't look. Oh my god! Oh, like whoa. don't look. Weapon shop. We have a multitude of weapons for the magically talented. Ooh. Ooh. What do we got then? Smash Saber. Thick as Romfar, heavy as Borgen. Ah, <laughs> what? That's funny. Oh, that's actually a downgrade from where I am. Ooh, Rune Sword. Looks more like a lightsaber, but okay. Inscribed with, inscribed with mystic symbols. That is an upgrade in all categories. Yes, sir. Oh, Hero would like one. Yeah. Uh, ritual the mace. Old... Yeah, ritual mace. Oh, hey, we can buy a magic staff. Again. Upgrade, really yes. Oh, damn. This shit's expensive. Well, yeah, it is the magic city. I think you have all of those, so... I think... I think so. Do we have the quake one? Thunder, I wind, flame, does. water, quake. Okay. Wait, the only thing one more time. Missing Thunder, is wind, flame, water, quake. Yeah, he doesn't have the neutral one. Yeah, which yeah. I don't really need a neutral. Okay, yeah, so I've got everything else. Now, real quick, because I'm an idiot. Yes, I did equip that. Yes, I did equip that. I'm safe to sell the other two that I did not, that are unequipped. Right. The last thing you want to do is sell something you want. I'm also yeah. safe to, uh, to sell this lucky bandana. Yes. I'm also safe to sell these white dragon wings. I mean, what? What? <laughs> I am definitely not safe to sell the white dragon wings. No, you're not. Not that it would let me anyways. No. All right, where there's a weapon shop, there's generally an armor shop. A library. Okay, that's Oh, weird. this library is important. Go ahead and read it real quick. There's a little something something in there. Lunar and the Blue Star, past, present, and future. The history of humanity is the history of war. Accurate. Yeah. Mankind fought so furiously that the Blue Star itself was destroyed in the conflict. So this is said in the future. Sorry, what? <laughs> uh, when we were brought to this world by the goddess Althena, we were given a second chance. A second chance to preserve our world and live in peace. And then we fucked it up. We must As learn we to take do. care of the world and each other. This book is really old, Hero. It's practically falling apart. Oof. Famous Dragon Masters. Dine. Alex. Some of the most popular Dragon Masters in the history of our world include Leon, the Mighty Gale, who once fought his foes with the blinding force of a hurricane. Gaul, the Iron Hand, who could fell the largest man with a single swing of his granite fists. Nato, the singing swordsman, who is basically just fermented tofu, I mean, who often uh, burst into song while decimating his enemies. Dine, the hero of the Heresy War. And Alex, the, la the last of the Dragon Masters. Yeah, the Heresy War. Oh, right. Sorry, I, I thought they were calling it by something else. Basically putting Dine as an actual, like, you know, he was fighting for some sort of heresy and failed. No, he was the hero of the war. He was fighting against yeah. heresy yes. and seemed to yeah. win. Hey, hero, I wonder if you could be a Dragon Master too. Nah. Uh, I don't think his eyes are green enough. No, I don't think so either. Oh, that's the same book I just read. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. History of the Dragon History. Masters. The first Dragon Master, Louis, descended to this land from the Blue Star with the Goddess. The footprint of his fir very first step on Lunar can still be found somewhere in this world. That's not important. <laughs> Probably not. Let's just move on. Lol. Uh... Hot girls in the great outdoors. Oh god, this is gonna be a bromide, isn't it? 
I don't think so. No. There are several public bathing spots throughout the world, including Althena Spring in the Illusion Woods and the man-made lake at the Water Ruins, where hot girls voluntarily take their clothes off to bathe in the buff. Yes! <laughs> this is obviously written by somebody. Yep. Oh, and by somebody, we mean Kyle of Nanza. Yeah. <laughs> I already knew men were pigs. By the way, they always talk to my chest instead of me. But this book confirms it. <laughs> How to absolutely positively win in gambling. Oh, hey, we found a we found an uh, accessory slot item for uh, Rumfar. <laughs> hey, Rumfar. Don't your gamble and you won't lose. <laughs> what kind of advice is that? Of course you won't lose if you don't gamble. But who wants to go through life playing it safe? I'm playing to win, baby. My life is an, a, ch a chip in your pile. Ante up. <laughs> I haven't made the joke in a couple episodes. I had to. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Life on Lunar. There are many creatures other than humans in this land of Lumar. Lumar. The most Lunar. obvious example is the race of beastmen, which are strongly similar to humans. There are also the four dragons, which serve Althena, and the Vile Tribe, about which is very little is known, ever since they got their ass kicked a thousand years ago. <laughs> Tame and train your cat. Well, this is a worthless book. Unless the, the only sense in is going to be, you can't. Stop trying. Right. <laughs> Filled with tips and techniques to make, to make the most disagreeable pussy eat out of your hand. Hey, Chief, don't you want to borrow this book? I want to see if it's humanly possible to turn Ruby into an agreeable feline. <laughs> oh, boy. If you call me a cat one more time, I'll scratch your face off, so help me. <laughs> <laughs> the Wilderness Survival Guide and Cookbook. Eat everything in all things. Chock full of recipes. Learn to survive in any type of harsh environment. Also includes scrumptious monster recipes. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, Ignis's ears are twitching and doesn't know why. <laughs> and there's a manga about eating monsters. I'm not hey, sure. Hey, hero! And it we should try the recipe for sand shark sashimi. That's Ugh. What do you mean? With all the sand sharks near our house, we could eat like kings. Magic, its origins and history. A way to move heavy objects. Whether or not one can, possesses considerable strength. A way to escape dangerous situations. Whether or not one can move quickly like Ramus. These simple desires of men lead to the, led to the discovery of magic. And now, because of magic, mankind can achieve things never before imagined. Look at all the dust on the cover of this book. No one in vain reads anything like this. Uh, I live in a magic city where no one cares about magic. It's deplorable, I tell you. Uh, it's like the magic city, but the only big guild is the fighter's guild. Oof. Or the knight's guild. Oof. Oof, indeed. The Blue Star, humanity's first home. There are many rumors of a way to travel to the Blue Star, but they have never been confirmed. There's something called a rocket, but we don't know how to build them. Nope. If such a method truly existed, it would have most likely been discovered by now, since we're all such titans of technology. Right. Close encounter of the Blue Star Kind. I was abducted by a flying saucer from the Blue Star and placed in a strange room where bizarre <laughs> creatures with large eyes and perverted, demented experiments upon my bottom. What? <laughs> 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 I'm glad to know that alien abductions continue even after we uh, left, uh, even after we left the Blue Star, yeah, or quote yeah. unquote alien abductions. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume One: The Spirit of Fire. Welcome to the exciting world of fire magic. Before reading on, please make sure you have one flame staff, one large bucket of water, and one flame retardant magician's robe. For a moment there, I thought you were about to say one flame retardant magician. <laughs> I mean, that that's a bonus. That, that's a bonus, yeah. You get extra credit for that. The goddess Althena, birth and rebirth. The goddess Althena is born and reborn into our world where she watches over us. But centuries often pass in between her visitations, which means she, her ass is overdue. TikTok, bitch. Is the goddess <laughs> becoming more confident in our ability to live peacefully with each other? No, she just cries herself to sleep more often. Or are we abandoned children? No, not that either. 
Festivals of Sacrifice The earliest festivals were held to offer human sacrifices to the gods of war. Today's festivals are held to honor Althena, and instead of human lives, we offer her singing and dancing. Althena revels in watching her children celebrate their existence. This book is right on the mark. In fact, the Midoriya Carnival was originally an offering to the goddess. Oh, wow. Nice. What are you doing, Hero? The treasure boxes in here all belong to me, and that makes them off limits to you. God damn it, no. They're my treasure. Don't Oof. worry, you can. You I don't know if I want to read this book. A Women's Recycling Guide. Volume 6, Don't Toss That Pad. Oh dear. Ew. <laughs> This book was a complete waste of paper. I think I'm going to recycle it. <laughs> yes. Hopefully not into yes, a pad. Either. I don't know how sanitary that would be. I don't know either. Uh, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can't look at that bookshelf. Okay. History of Lunar, Volume 1. The existence of the Vile Tribe was confirmed during the ter terrible battle in which Ve Vane fell from the sky. The behaviors and desires of the Vile Tribe are still shrouded in darkness but it is clear that they have not chosen to coexist peacefully with humanity. Uh, some of them did. Some of them were like, dude, we just want to chill out here, okay? Leave us alone. Right. Someone scribbled a note in the margin. What does it say? This is wrong. The Vile Tribe has left the frontier and now lives alongside the rest of... Oh, wait. Oh, shit, that's Facia. This is wrong. Ooh. The Vile Tribe has left the frontier... And now lives alongside the rest of us and his children. Facia. Facia? Who's that? I'm in love, and I've never even met her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, I just read that book. I don't want to read it a second time. The Superiority of Magic. With magic, all things become possible. With magic, the world can be ruled and controlled. Okay, so that was a book from Galleon's personal stash. Probably. <laughs> Poetry. What is the color of love? What is the shape of love? Where is my heart? I yearn Alibaba. to know the answers. Hear me, O oh goddess, beautiful and true. Tell me, teach me, but please do not charge me. Oh no! Why did I leave my poem in this book? Don't read another word! Stop! <laughs> Until so I read sorry. the last line, I didn't even know it was Lamina! I think one of the pages is falling out of this. Hey! Oh, shut. It's a bromide! We got Lamina's bromide. Lucky we found this! Now we know Lamina is a closet geek after all! Hey! I prefer to think of myself as studious. Besides, by reading, I learned how to blast smart Alec, uh, ro smart Alec rodents with fire. Wait a minute, Lamina! I was just kidding! Why don't we all calm down? <laughs> Lamina? At least I didn't call you a freak and a geek! It could be worse! Oh, no. no. Ruby. What did you say? Alright, that is it. Feel the burn, you big jerks. Lamina. Not in the library! Perhaps you could take a little more time with that whole aiming thing? At least she missed <laughs> the books. And this is for the viewers. I personally don't care, but I'm sure you want to see it. Bromide time. I do appreciate that the bromides in this one are much more tasteful. Also, yeah. that's very dangerous. Although, once I get to Nulls, I'll appreciate it less. <laughs> Magic Theory Advanced Edition An in-depth exploration of the mechanics and motion of spectacular spells Um, I think this volume is beyond your understanding Let's try another, shall we? She's interrupting us because it's under beyond hers, too Yeah <laughs> Deceit in the Sky The True Story of the Magic Guild Scandal This book is what? fascinating it yanks the covers right off the guild's dirtiest secrets. I'm a good girl, but there are times when I wouldn't mind being in this book. Really? Big but big business for small broads. <laughs> oh, this is a great book. The author is an orphan who fought against all odds and soon became the most successful merchant in the world. 
Her story <laughs> made me cry. Oh, her story. I thought it was about Dragon. Yeah, for a boy. second I thought that was. Oh, yeah, that's Ravis. <laughs> oh, God. Lamina's personal bookshelf, rental rates. All books owned by Lamina are, avail are only available for rental at the price of 100 silver per day. Oh, don't mind that price list. I'll let you guys read my books for free. Aren't you happy? No. I Introduction to history. When reading any historical document, it is very important to remember that the contents of the document will never be entirely accurate, nor can they ever be. History is shaped by those who record it and by the inevitable influence of time. Wow. That is actually the best advice I've ever seen in a video game, or the best info I've ever seen in a video game. That right. is horribly accurate. Yes. History is never 100% true. It's always shaped by the victor. Uh -huh. Deep Thoughts, Volume 1. Oh, God. Hashtag just shower thoughts. Nothing okay. is Hashtag more senseless. Uh, 42. Nothing is more senseless in this world than the act of war. The goddess mourns when her own children willingly end each other's precious lives. Okay, that's not just, that's not uh, shower thoughts. That's just straight up fucking true. Yeah. Inspirations, Volume 1. The future of each man is within his grasp. He must only reach out of it and take hold of it. Hashtag general advice. Yeah. I know, right? This is giving really good advice, actually. The Sealed City. This is apparently our inspo the uh, stream. Yeah. <laughs> Across the sea is the holy city of Pentagulia. Althena's tower, in which the goddess Althena dwelled, was once located in the holy city. Um, I don't remember a city around the tower, so I'm guessing the tower, the city sprung up around where the tower was. Ooh. The goddess is said to have sealed a great evil within its walls, never to be unleashed. Huh. Legends of the goddess Althena, and I'm, I'm guessing the great, uh, the great evil never to be unleashed was Zordon. I mean, so far? <laughs> Sword on. <laughs> I, I think you got influenced by something that happened earlier this week. That's fine. Legends yeah, of the so... Goddess Althena. All of us were brought to this land from the Blue Star, guided by the Goddess Althena. The blessings of Althena exist in everyone, planted like seeds. They say that Althena waits for those seeds to sprout and ultimately to bear fruit. Mm, fruit. We're all trees. Oh. Ooh. No, Hero, let us. G g give us the goddamn chest. Hero, I never thought you were the type to go for a five-finger discount. Get away from that box. It's a special treasure of vain. Okay, so I need to open these when she's not here. Got it. Understanding Magic, Volume 1. Magic requires great powers of concentration. To develop these skills, attempt the following. Eat two boxes of laxatives and concentrate on not using the bathroom. Ooh. That's horrible. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Well, I will never be a like mage. Two... I will never two be a five... mage. Ignore two the noises bags, which will the... soon emerge from your colon and maintain your focus. Magicians with high fiber diets should not attempt this exercise under any circumstances. <laughs> All I could think of is the five pound bags of Haribo gummy bears. Oh no. Ooh. The History of oh, Vane, Volume no. 1. Long ago, Vane was a city held aloft in the skies with the power of magic. Only those people blessed with magical, magical ability lived there, and they conducted intense research. The Magic Guild of Vane was the most powerful influence in the known world. The Vanished Dragon Master. The goddess Althena keeps an eternal watch over our world. And when the goddess is reborn into our world, the dragon master stands close at her side. While the goddess is constantly reborn unto us, the dragon master is not. But when the goddess vanishes, so does the dragon master. And I see that one last book there, and I'm sure I need to check it too, but... The History of the Vane, Volume 2. Long ago, Vane was a city held aloft in the skies with the power of magic. But it was made to fall by the goddess Althena who is under control of Galleon, the dark magic emperor. Ooh. It is said that the influence of the magic guild disappeared when Vane when Vane plunged that. to Earth. As the citizens of Vane relocated to cities around the world, they took their knowledge of magic with them, and what was once considered an arcane art 
became almost commonplace. In this new world, the Magic Guild was considered quaint. Ooh, that's gotta burn like hell for Lamina. Oh yeah. Magic Emperor Gallion. Oh hey, it's a book on your favorite subject. Oh yeah, hell yeah, there we go. Gallion, one of the four original four heroes, had very strong and unusual magical power. He used his power to take control of Althena and plunge the world into darkness. To this day, no one knows Gallion's motivations for doing what he did. Uh, I think he spilled them pretty easily uh, in the last game, so I'm not sure. Yeah, he did. He did, but nobody knows about yeah, that. Yeah, unless, uh, unless, you know, the main party told anyone. They, they Which I guess they didn't. I, I don't know. <laughs> Legends and lore of the Blue Star. The Blue Star that shines in the sky is our ancestral home. Our ancestors were guided to this land from the Blue Star by the goddess Althena. Hey, someone left a scribbled note in this book. I think it says... Cloth Secret Guild Spy. My secret is safe with... <laughs> Dang, I can't make out all these words in between all, all, with all these jelly stains. At least I think it's jelly. Uh, oh. eh, I'm putting this back. Yeah, I would put it back. Common Sense by Maria Ausa. A person's Ooh. worth is not determined by whether or not they have magical powers. A person's worth is not determined by whether or not they have money. A person's worth is determined by the sum total of their hopes, their dreams, and their actions. I appreciate that logic. Yeah. Are these symbols? I can't read this book at all. Of course not, hero. How are you supposed to read all these weird runes? There's no way that any of you will be able to read this ancient book. Because I can't read it either. <laughs> and out of nowhere, Lucia can read it. Of course she can. I'm the head librarian. Welcome to Vane's Home of Tomes. Our selection of literature is unmatched in all the world, even if several of the books repeat each other. Please, take your time and read through a few of our selections. You'll find them enlightening. This I, I do like that Home of Tomes. This place used to be called the Magic Library and only magicians could enter, but the premier of the Magic Guild, Lady Maria Ausa, turned it into a public library. Now anyone can come here, and frankly, I think it's much better that way. I'm sure Lamina disagrees, but she yeah. has those discussions with her mom in private. I'm not ever doing all that again, so I'm just gonna save so that I know I did. That was a lot of reading. York? I got. But it had a lot of good stuff in it, including a couple of uh, actual real life things. Yeah. Yeah. It had some good knowledge to drop. Let me guess. I can't open this one either, right? Yeah, you're. Uh... Now you wait just a minute, hero. These treasures are mine. You can't take them without my express written consent. Uh, we're traveling together, trying to save the world. Maybe hook a brother up with some consent. <laughs> or right. why didn't you take these before? Well, right. because just because they're hers doesn't mean she wants them. She doesn't need them. She just wants to have them. Yeah. It's less about doing something with it. It's more about possessing it. Yeah. It's not about making money. It's about taking money. It's about All overthrowing the status. It's it's ba about maintaining the status quo. Because for her, the status is very He's low. not. It's very low. Hero, what are you doing? No one is supposed to open these without my permission. Now get away from them. Sorry, I had to get the quote one more time. The line one more time. Yeah, right. fine. One last thing. We're going to go into the armor shop. And then we're going to finally go try and save her mom. Who's yes. probably dead because we took so long. <laughs> it was so long. All right, Steel Shield is something he's already wearing. Magic Gauntlet is not for him. It's worse for her. It's slightly better for her. Uh, I'll keep looking just to see. Oh, Platinum Armor. That is really good for him. It's also really expensive. Yes, it is. So I'm going to equip it.
I'm starting to feel like I'm not getting money as fast as I want to be. It's possible. You can't afford the dress, can't afford the robe. Already wearing that steel helm, already wearing that soul bandana. Uh, I need two of those hairpins. So I need one of those, I think. Wait, no. She has a silk dress, doesn't she? I think one of these people Yeah, do. she has a silk dress. She has a yeah. fur robe, so I don't need the silk dress. I do need the magician robe, probably. Yeah. So that's 2100. That's 1080. That's so... 32. And then two of those is 12, so 4400. Right. I am way short on that. Yeah, just a bit. Well, we've got a boss coming up. I'm guessing we could probably get some of that money from that. It's or possible. I can do something I may regret later, but may not. Ooh, Sell one of the life that? gems. Just one. Just one life tool? Just one. Because one will give me more than enough and put me ahead of the curve. Alright. All right. Just one. Just one. Alright, so now I'm ahead of the curve. Oh yeah, that was a good upgrade. I'm glad I got Lamina's rope. Good, good. Uh, yeah. Oh yes, we need that upgrade. And I need a magic gauntlet for Lamina. Okay, and I Jean need... is wearing the pot lid. And I need two bejeweled hairpins. Do we have enough for that? I yep. do. You. Oh yeah, she's already got that. Oh yeah, she got a big jump on that one. Good. Now you can sell those other things. That I can. Because I no longer need the old platinum gauntlet. I no longer need the fur robe. I no need, longer need the platinum hairpins. And I no longer need this bromide. <laughs> nope. Can't get rid of them, sorry. Well, apparently I've got a, a, a new dude bro at the spring that's going to reward me if I keep collecting him. So I can't let him down, I guess. Nope, you got to keep going. All right, here we go. This is my home, the mag the mansion of the Magic Guild of Bane. It looks like shit, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> These walls are filled with the history of our world. Well, isn't it great? This place sure is big, but it's kind of run down, isn't it, Hero? I mean, look at that hole in the roof, and that sign over there is broken. If the Magic Guild is so prestigious, why can't they afford a carpenter? Jeez. Uh... Ruby did not get set fire to. No. Okay, now to... Oh yeah, you wanted to know who Borgen was, right? Uh, I know. I will pretty soon, I have a feeling. Uh, let me guess. Hero, this isn't like you. Why are you opening my stuff without asking permission? Uh, this is totally like us. It's just You're just mad because it's your stuff. <laughs> okay, that stairs down, which last time I played was the dungeon. It's which been a long time, too. Borgen. To what do we owe the, uh, pleasure of this visit? Miria, you are the picture of manly perfection, as always. Why do you think I'm, uh, why do I think you're trying to go for a Don Corneo? No, or not Corn really. I was going for... I, I, there's there's something in my mind I was going for. Oh, no, hey, it's Baron Harkonnen. Vane has <laughs> drifted into chaos since the guild fell apart. You know it's true. Lowly simpletons who know nothing in the way of magic roam the men's majestic streets. Disgrace and despair are all that remain in the magic city. 
How utterly pathetic! Then why, may I ask, have you come into the place that you hold in such low esteem? Ah, Miria, you never were one to skill at the issue. I confess that I come here for selfish reasons. This city no longer suits a woman of your stature. I have come to take you to Neove. We yeah, will be very, to very happy together, you and I. Eee. Eee. Oh, <laughs> that flying cesspool has no right to come in here like he owns the place. All right, definitely saving right the fuck here. And yeah, meeting so I can cough for a few hours. Oh, that was rough on my throat. Yeah, careful there. Yeah. Oh no, I'm 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 blowing the vocal cords all the way out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, go for it. <laughs> well, time to deal with uh, Baron Harkonnen Light. <laughs> oh. Oh, look what we have here, Lamina, Junior Premier of the Guild. Ew. Remember me? I'm Borgen, creator of Neovain and the most powerful wizard in the world. Ring a bell, Dumpling? I thought it might bring back a few fond memories. <laughs> oh, I remember. I could never forget a face so beastly grotesque as yours. I told you Vane was off limits. Get out of here! So it would seem that I had his voice a little bit off. But it was close. His voice was much Kinda more close. booming and bassy. Uh, uh, it was much more uh, bass than uh, baritone. But it did have definitely a sniveling aspect to it. Yeah. Lamina, my dear, you've returned. Welcome home. And what's what's this? You've brought some new friends with you. How wonderful. You have so few friends, darling, that I'm delighted to see you making new ones. I am Lamina's mother, Miria. Welcome to Vane, and to the mansion of the Magic Guild. These aren't just friends of my mother. They're also candidates to join the guild. I'm gathering new candidates every day, and I'll revive the guild someday soon. Okay, so what am I doing with this? Oh, let me talk to let me talk to Lardy McDassel real game real quick. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's such a shame when places of former glory are neglected by their own creators. I'm afraid that's exactly what's happened to Vane. Its time is almost over. Surely you agree, Lumina. Absolutely not. Vane is not destined to disappear at all. I'm going to restore it. Calm down, Lamina. Listen to what Borgen has to say. You know, once you get past the surface, he's very much like you. No, 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 no. You have to cut down very deep from the surface to find someone like her. Sorry, I had to rehydrate my throat there for a moment. Mother, how can you say such a terrible thing? Borgen is ugly and awful and evil. Why are you defending him? Has he cast a spell on you? <laughs> I do not submit my power for your approval, dear girl. I am absolute sovereign of my destiny now. I will do as I wish. Behold! Please excuse my actions, Lady Miria, but I must do this. Ew. No. Put it back. Oh, come on. Well, beat for beat, we're, re we're replaying the, uh, the vein section. The and real, the real leader of the guild just got kidnapped. Is being held and by stoned. evil. 
Yeah. Mother! Wasn't okay. that delicious? And all it took was a simple wave of my hands. Poof! Mommy's gone! <laughs> what have you done with my mother? I demand that you return her this minute. <laughs> and I demand that you think before you speak, dear girl. Think of the power I possess, Lamina. I could squash you like a cream-filled cupcake. Mm, cream. Aww. No, no. Your mother <laughs> will not be coming back. She will rule with me in Neovane. And, Three. oh, if you feel the need to visit, please don't hesitate to visit Pentagulia. We'll be certain to roll out the dead carpet for you. No, Borgen, I'm serious. Come back here this instant. Weep. Oh boy. Oh, mother. I can't believe I let you down. If only I didn't spend an hour at the library, maybe I could have got here in time. Uh, I don't have enough magical strength to qualify as a bathroom attendant, let alone the premiere of the Magic Guild of Vain. What was I thinking? I can't even save the person I love the most. How could I hope to restore an entire city? Oh, mother, I'm a failure. Oh, dear. And look at what you've done. Confidence shattered. She ran off. Look what you made me do. Lamina. Now we have full access to Chris. Uh, hero? I don't think Lamina will get it. I think Lamina will get a bit upset if she finds out you're in her stuff. Damn it, God Ruby. Damn it. Ruby, that's not the time. Okay, well, apparently I can't get the stuff now. So I'll just have to hold off on that till later. Again. It, wait, she ran into the dungeon. Except it actually is now the tower? What? Uh, Maybe some remodeling? Yeah, probably. Say, Chief, <laughs> I think you should have a few words with Lamina. I was going to say something about you being our leader and having to take charge. But the truth is that the rest of us are kind of scared of her. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Ronfar. For nothing. Okay, Ronfar. Jeez, Ronfar. I like the thanks for nothing on that. Yeah, for nothing. <laughs> so, time to build up her confidence again. Well, I don't like the fact that her arm is waving up and down like she's going to cast a spell on you. <laughs> if you, want what, do you what do you want, Hero? Have you come to laugh at me for being so weak? Sure. Go ahead and sure. laugh. <laughs> it, it it must be worth a thousand yucks. <laughs> York, York, Lamina's York, reviving York, York. the magic guild, but she's the only member. I don't even have the power to fix the leaky roof of the guild mansion. My mother knew I was too weak to do anything hero. That's why she told me to accept the magic guild the way it is. You agree with her, don't you? It's not like that, Lamina. Vane is a wonderful city, with a rich history of great leaders. I think that you will be the next great leader of Vane. I believe in your dream, Lamina. I believe you have the strength and courage to make it real. Uh, Damn. Someday, you will restore this place to its former glory. Someday, the magic guild of Vane will once again be the center of the world. And someday, everyone will know that it was your vision which made it all possible. Uh, I... I've never heard of such a load of horse blasts in all my life, hero. Is this your idea of a pep talk? C can you tell it's my first? Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I, I do appreciate the effort. Thanks, hero. And confidence back. Hey, Lamina, there's no shame in being the only member of the Magic Guild. There are certain situations where being the only member could be quite pleasant, in fact. Think of it this way. When you have nothing... You have nothing to lose. All you can do is win. Yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely the gambler's outlook. Yeah. And I'll join you as a member of the guild. That is, if you'll have me. I'll support your dream any way I can, because that's what friends do for each other. 
I don't understand the people of this world, or emotions, very well. But I do know that you are wonderful for trying to carry <laughs> out your given duty. Well, here for you, Lamina. Now let's go and save your mom for that floating fatty. Uh, my only thoughts this entire time have been how to get about about how to get you all into the guild. But you, you're all concerned for, about me, me, personally. Yeah. Oh God, here we go again. I don't deserve to have friends like you. And confidence lost. Again. I'm not. I'm not crying, by the way. I, I just have something in my eye. Your finger, probably. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. I must have looked really pathetic. But I'm alright now, so let's get moving. We're headed for the holy city of Pentagalia, where we'll find Borgen and rescue Mother. That lard butt is going to pay dearly for putting me through this, I assure you. I will be satisfied until I've squeezed every last silver coin out of his rolls of fat. Ooh. Visuals. Now this is Lamina we've come to know and love. Well, we know her, but I'm not sure if we're ready to love her. Except for me, I do love her. <laughs> anyway, let's make our city the holy. Let's make our way to the holy city. Also, can we raid stuff now? Yeah, for real. We're officially members of the Magic Guild now. Remember. Yeah, you can get the stuff now, I think. Oh, sweet. Watch as we don't. Oh, we're there not we go. To. We need to get the right tools if we're going to rescue Mother from Morgan. Before we go to the uh, Holy City, I should open the treasure chest of Bane. I'll even let you guys use whatever I find for a very reasonable <laughs> rental fee. Oh, what the heck? I'll let you use them for free. After all, you are helping me save my mother. Yeah. There we go. Now it's raid time. Yes. Oh, uh, and don't forget the one chest that's just inside the cave of trials. Lamina's purse. I'm guessing that is an actual equipment for Lamina. I'm yes. guessing an accessory? Usually empty. Ooh. It lowers Ooh. defense and magic defense from uh, the ring I've got her on. But well, why would you equip it, though? Well, if you go to an empty slot... Did she have an empty slot? Yeah, you yeah, have two. You have two. Oh, that's you right. I do have two slots. Uh, it has no stats whatsoever. Is it one of those items where it maybe it's like confused. increased guild drop or something or silver drop? Let me take a look here. Since she's a greedy such, I'll just give it to her for now, and we'll figure it out yeah. later. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. I think the other chest was in the main hall. A Gorgon doll. Ooh, that rhymed. Uh, precious Alsa Clan heirloom. It doesn't date back that far, but okay. Yeah, it does. I don't remember. Yeah, let me remember the uh, clay, the clay sculpture area. Oh and, right. Uh, yeah, she likes. Uh, uh, Mia loved uh, Gorgons. There, she thought they were cute. Uh, so this lowers luck by one, but it also increases wisdom and magic defense. So the person I'm going to give that to uh, is going to be Jean. She has no accessories right now, and she's tied for lowest magic defense. All right. It would also be helpful if it protected against uh, pr uh, pst, uh, petrification, since it's Gorgon related. Right. Uh, let it's me know when you find anything on the purse. No, there's nothing on the purse. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just it a flare item. Or maybe it is a silver drop. Seal crest. Monster's lips are sealed. Ooh. It gives me Silence. a silent spell, it sounds like. Yeah, silence. Yeah, silence sealed. Yeah. I wonder what we can combine that with, though. Uh, 
All right, and there was a chest in here in the back right. Yeah. There's also one next to the... Oh, no, back left. Angel ring. Is that, that an auto like... res? I think yeah, it's the auto res item, yeah. Does it break? Yes. Ah, accessory we're never going to use. Silver light. You know me so well. The only time I would ever use that is in a final boss fight. And in a final yeah. boss fight, I'm going to have stat boosting stuff that's better. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if we can't find more of them. I'm like a gold doll. <laughs> Oof. The dolls. The dolls. Uh, the dolls. You weren't around for the gold doll strategy, my Will. No, but... I sure as hell was. Dolls are... The, the you doll, were. Dolls are... Scary things. Oh, thieves staff. Aha. Uh -huh. And then there's one more item next to the. Uh, I don't know what that one store. does because it's not it, it it doesn't have an obvious element to it. Uh, it sounds like it might steal from the enemy. Yeah, I think it steals from the enemy. Gives you a steal spell, or does it? The last know? item is near the Althena statue. Okay, I will go there next. Yeah. Yeah. It says here that the uh, thief staff enables Lamina to steal from the enemies. Steal whenever oh. she attacks. It's just a, yep. like a mug, essentially. Yep. Nice. All right, and you've confirmed that this is, this is everything. I'm not missing anything. Yeah. That that last. Oh, Thundercrest. Yep. Thunder, thunder, thundercrest. Ho. I wonder if we can combine the Thunder and the Seal Crest and see what we get. So I've got right now, I've got Thunder, Earth, Seal, and Dream. So I'm thinking combining Thunder with Seal. Wait, those two, if I, if I do it that way, it actually changes it to orange. The text changes to orange. So that's how you properly combine that, right? Yeah, if there's orange, it usually is an indication. So if I combine those two, that gives her um, not an attribute magic. So actually, yeah. I don't want to do that. Though. Yeah, not right now, probably. I do want to do that with Jean. Because I want her to have access to a spell that isn't just her dances. All right, yeah, then do that. Pulse explosion, a burst of bitterness. Oh, explosion. Ugh, it's zone attack. MP. That's his own attack. It is indeed. And then he's got power, Shiro. Rafar's got nothing, Lamina's got nothing. I want to give Lamina the mute and the sleep. But I don't think they're going to combine in any way. So it's just giving her two new spells. So magic seal prevents an enemy from using magic. Which is good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, she already has that spell. Yeah, that sure is worthless. Sure. I mean, we could technically put it on long for if we really That's what I was going to do. I don't yeah, want. Or, two I, people. Yeah, because it's good to have it on two people. And then I'll leave her with the Dream Crest. Because get... it's useful sometimes to have a second Dream. A uh, second sleep spell. I'm sure there's better combinations. Right. We can play around with them later. As I get more seals. I mean, we'll probably have access to a document. Actually, all three of us have access to quotations finding a document. That yeah, all three of us have out. access to a thing called the interwebs. Yeah. That is very true. But I should probably mention that Will is probably already set up to look at said document. I think he was intending to set up for it previously. Yeah. 
because I remember you mentioning that previously, Will, that uh, uh, giving me advice as we went through stuffs. Yeah. I presume I'm going the right way. I presume you're right some way. All right, I am in a new place, and it is a dungeon. Dungeon. And if I die in zero point aught se one seconds, then I know I'm wrong. Well, that's the right way you need to go, anyway. You get and some fly travelers. All right, we're gonna do one round of just beat on their faces to see how it plays out. Oh, they are resistant to damage. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna need magic, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. That's okay, if they're resistant oh, to magic, I'll yeah. just plan accordingly. There's nothing to steal. Oh, so it literally only does a, th a steal. It doesn't actually do a uh, damage. Uh. Well, that's kind of lame. Oof. 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 Okay, wind elements is the the ants are strong against the plants or don't care. This one should be almost dead. I definitely need some healing stat. I want to see that spell go off. Do it. Oh, answer resistant to everything, it looks like. Oh, wow. Mm. Except for non-elemental. They weren't resistant to the non-elemental. So, explosion? Yeah, I've got that going. Still either. Cool. Fear is upon you. This is, this is actually kind of rough. Not gonna lie. Like, I'm legitimately concerned if, if I'm actually ready for, this, for these fights. Oh, wow. Of course, as soon as I say that, three of the four are dead. Happy hour. Right. It just happens that way. But these are freaking rough fights. And of course, the one that's left alive is the one resistant to elemental magic. Of course. But here's some non-elemental magic. No, this is definitely the right direction. Yeah. Jeez, this is just rough, though. Painful. I kind of hope that was the worst fight in this place, because otherwise I'm in a lot of trouble. Now, 
you want to, oh, you want to run for, okay, there you go. I'm like, I'm like, I try to run at the B and it's like, no, I'm going to fly away from you. <laughs> Ooh, perfect grouping. Thank you. That is beautiful. As my pulse explosion hits everything. It's all the things. It's the best group enemy grouping when you can get a zone attack to hit all the things. Mega Magic Flame! Meanwhile, I'm definitely need to change her staff back because. Maybe maybe yes. that's a boss fight staff, but that is definitely not a regular everyday fight staff. Right. Um, I feel like Quick is the one element I didn't try on the one things. So I think I'm gonna I try and take Quick just in case. And we get a chance to find out pretty soon if it was effective. Yep. Nope. It's also ineffective. Awesome. Awesome possum. Uh, the one downside to Pulse Explosion is it burns through Gene's MP like no other. Ferocious uh. wind. I'll take care of this. I did mention that it was like 20 MP when we put it on there. You did. Hey. And Lightning Bomb, which is technically... Non-elemental magic. Huh. Well, Lucia's thing is non-elemental magic. Right. I guess that does make sense. <laughs> I was hoping she was going to tell people to check it out. That would have been badass, but not really on her uh, brand. Right. Happy hour! She's just all of a sudden, check this out. I'll take care of this. No, you probably want it if you do it to Cherry Tap. Oh, it was a Cherry Tap. Nice. Yay, Heroes level 28. Romfar's level 28. Yeah. Yeah. Sounding like they're starting to catch up to the level I might want to have actually been in here. I've not seen any branching paths yet here, so I'm a little nervous. Normally I'd be like, oh, I must be missing things, but there's nowhere to go to miss. Right. <laughs> There are items, so they must all be on this map because there were no, there was nowhere to put them on the other one. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, ah. Oh. Very well, very well. Oh God. Both of the wasps are going for final sing. Oh no. And of course, they're resistant to all effects. Oh, this is gonna suck. Yeah, just a little bit. Ooh. 
Ooh, Lamina's paralyzed. Lucia, not so much. Plasma Rain. Hey. Delicious AoE, non-elemental lightning damage. Good stuff. Oh wait, nope, change that. We need to get Stabby McStab McStab a butt out first. Cool. No paralyzing stings this time. Yay. Oh, lightning bomb. Which will hit one or the other. Because they're way too apart for the zone. Right. Up, oh, time for more stabbing mix stabber butt. Ew. Oh, and hey, look who woke up. Is that because of the stabbing mix stabber butt? Yay, we win. Woo! Hey, it's a treasure chest with a vigor ring. It probably makes me feel very vigorous. Very much so. Where it cannot be paralyzed. Uh, that's actually nice. That's actually pretty good. That's actually going to my fucking healer. Like right now. Yeah, Yeah, now. like fucking with a horror. <coughs> Pardon me. I right. could not meet that one in time. I apologize. Okay, so I do want to go down that way, but I'm trying to see... Okay, it looks like that's a dead end. So it looks like when I go in, I want to do that. Like that. Oh, hi, birdie. Oh. Hi, Birdie. I'm like, Dodge. Oh, you're flying over trees. Cool. Blood bird. That's not... That not sounds head. entirely healthy and something like something I want to fight. Yeah, it's not that bad. At least their basic attacks aren't that bad. You're buzzing us back, Kage. Okay. Oh. Let me move the fan again here. Super ugly. Is that banger? That is indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, I see someone is going for a special attack. Oh, yay. Let's kill it before it succeeds. Yes, please do. And it's dead. Huzzah! Gene is level 28. Oh, please tell me Lamina levels too here. Lamina is level 27. Oh, boo. Hey, it's a starlight. There's one more chest. Uh, of course there is. I know we're getting close on time, but I kind of want to get through here. Oh, hey, there's a chest. There's a warrior crest. That's the one. Hmm, what do we combine this one with? Well, it definitely... 
I'm thinking I want to give it to. I want to give Hero. it to Hero. I don't want to take away his Shiro Crest, though. I like him having his range. Right. So that means I take away his Power Crest, which means I lose the wisdom. Uh, the, I get the wisdom down from uh, the Shiro Crest again. But I get the plus 10 to attack, which is intense. I think we want that. And then I can look and say, okay, so you got seal. Oh, so I can change seal to an enhanced seal, perhaps. Ooh. Which is... Oh, wait. Did it enhance it? Because it looks like the same spell. Um, maybe it uh, goes against all enemies this time. No. Oh, okay, one. Target one. Yeah, I just saw it. Target one, MP3. Uh, magic seal prevents an enemy from using magic, which was identical to her magic seal, which is why we took it away from her. Unless somehow by attaching it to an attack seal, that means his normal attacks may have a chance to mute things now. Maybe. Can you look that, that up and see if that's a thing? Yeah, let me take a look here. Because I remember, I think you did say something about combining power with um, uh, elemental gave you like an L sword type thing. Yeah, I'm gonna double check here too. Let's see. And off honestly, if that's how it works, I might switch seals around between Rumpar and Jean. And since she has the range, give her or give her like sleep enabled to weapon or silence enabled to weapon. While you're looking into that, I'm going to. It was the power one, right? Uh, yes, I believe it was. Yeah, uh, power, I currently have them bound as power seal. Yeah, so, combat, yeah, seals, so yeah, so seal, say, and your character's weapon can inflict that status change. Cool. Nice. So yep. yeah, I'm gonna switch these around real quick. Wait, no, I don't want to do that combination. This is super expensive, but also... Yeah, there we go. I'll give you thunder. Actually, no. I want her to have thunder. That way she's got the three stereotypical elements. There we go. Fire, ice, and lightning. Yep. Very, oh, very god. Bright. Oh, damn. What? Uh, lightning by itself. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Lightning rain, <laughs> plasma shock, and dancing and, and dancing thunder. Ooh wee. Check yes. these out. Uh look at all that. And then he's that got rock thing. viper, rock crush, and crack point. I'm thinking that's supposed to say avalanche and they forgot an H. It's possible, yeah. Avalanche. Avalanche. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is an actual lance. Maybe it's a bunch of lances. Maybe they were trying to be punny, and I'm ruining Rock the avalanche. pun for them. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Oh, that's what. The music just changed a bit here, so I think I may be somewhere. Oh, it says something planes. Water ruins. Oh, water ruins. Yeah. And we hit the two-hour mark right now. Well, is so. it 9.45? Huh? 
It's 10 o'clock. We started at 8. That's true, that's true. I just wanted to make sure that we... Because this, uh, there's just a real quick FMV coming up. I don't, I don't know, know. should you... I get it tonight or should I save it for next week? Uh, it's up to you, I guess. I'm with Will on that one. I think it could be fun to save it for the first thing next week. All right. We know something exciting is coming up. And I also healed because, dear gods, my MP, <laughs> especially Gene's MP, yes. I went a little, little bit crazy. All yeah, right. Gene is not set up for that MP drain that she yeah. got. No, that was 100% something for Lamina if I were to use that combo. So that's been tonight's episode. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, before we disappear, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Asher, like always, for what updates we've got. Well, as a heads up, there's not going to be a Saturday stream tomorrow because, well, Eddie is going to be dealing with family. Scrub. But some really great news. We're now on your favorite streaming audio service. Including Spotify, because that's my favorite. Spotify? Spotify? Uh, Apple Podcasts, if you're that type of person. If you're one of those. Yes. <laughs> That's rude. Uh, we're also <laughs> on Google Play. Uh, we are also on Anchor. Uh, that's, well, we... Or we will soon be. Export, uh, no, we've exported everything over to Anchor. Yeah, and then using Anchor, I think, to distribute from there. Yes. Um, basically, I'm going in there and... Up going to be uploading a met a metric ton of frp episodes yes including supposedly a missing one and it's like i swear i got that you you may but, swear you got it but did you though? apparently not yeah episode seven apparently is missing i'm going to double check to make sure i didn't mislabel an episode that would be weird it would be yeah that's the one i couldn't find either so something's got to give also, uh, for anyone who is interested, because I am that sort of person, if you look at chat, there is actually a playlist of all the FRP if you are a Spotify type. That ch that yep. li will link you directly to FRP and will be updated whenever we release a new episode, so it'll always be the most up-to-date option. Or you can yeah. make your own. Have fun. Play around with it. Go wild. I'm okay. a crazy on it. And actually, yeah, that's weird. Se uh, so, yeah, seven is, uh, yeah, somehow MIA. I don't. Uh, no, I actually have the audio file still. Keep records of it. It's just double checking to make sure I didn't mislabel stuff. And it's like, nope, we are missing episode seven, which is fan communities. Well, then just uh, work it up again. Oh, yeah. no. I, I'm going to be uploading all the missing things directly to Anchor at this point so so yeah um we also have of course the patreon and then the uh store which is uh under redbubble admittedly right now we only just have the frg logo for that as for the patreon i think we only have like one in five dollar right now and then a twenty dollar one, which is uh, essentially the fight me tier. Oh, by the way, uh, ignore that previous link. I am an idiot, and I've made a tiny URL. Tiny URL. Use that one. Yeah, Always use, use that, that one. one. Said, yeah, that one's better. Um, as such, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, as stated, Saturday night streams are not happening due to Eddie. Not being here, but apparently Eddie is doing a, uh, maybe trying to do a uh, FRG Tucson cast, maybe next week. Um, it may be more in lines with uh, him and Hefley doing politi uh, politi politi politicasting. Politicasting? A.K. podcasting about recent politics. Oof. Don't, don't ask, ask me. me. I, I don't, don't like, like that, that idea, idea, personally. Well, it, it takes all kinds. And there's definitely an audience out there for political podcasts. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So I just didn't know it was going to be ours, but we'll see. It could be great. It, well, it, 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 admittedly, it, it, I'm not sure if it's under our brand or if it's something under Happily. Ah, oh, uh, no. there you go. That makes sense. All, All I, know I know is that Eddie is involved, involved. And, and so is so Happily. If you don't know who the, uh, who Hefley is, is, check, check out, out some of the early FRG, FRG stuff. stuff. Yeah, like the way back stuff. The way back stuff, because, because that's, that's when we had people like Kelsey, Kelsey Hefley, a, a lot more, more uh, Tucson casts until, until the move, move which, which then it just turns into, into me and Eddie. Eddie. And, and more recently with me, Eddie, Eddie and uh, MPX. MPX. Which, Which, to be honest, honest, you guys, you guys totally, totally stole the show, show, and I think you can even give it back. Uh, I'm, and to be honest, you totally stole the show and deserve it, and therefore, to the victor goes the spoils, and you have the spoils. Therefore, you're the victor. I feel yeah. like we're starting. <laughs> I feel like this is not a good prize to have won. Oof. 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 A goof. Big butt oof. Big butt oof. Anyways, and so that brings us back around to next Friday where we'll be back here continuing with the little FMV that we skipped out on, that we paused before, and onward into hopefully, well, the water ruins, and then hopefully pretty soon the holy city of Pentagulia. It is a coming. Yep. In the meantime, please feel free to check us out in all the places. We talked about the various podcasting options. Uh, there's, of course, always the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram, the TikTok, if you're so inclined. Uh, I don't recommend that because the only person who uses it is Eddie. Yeah. And oh, yeah. God. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And it's not, it, it's, it's all, all derivative, derivative, derivative stuff. stuff from well, her. I mean, that's what TikTok is, anyways. Hot take. <laughs> anyways enough about that thank you everyone for tuning in for watching along and as we continue through our journey and until next we meet may you ever walk in the light of the blue star bye good night bye, everyone bye.